Hey everyone, welcome back. So this part is the spoiler part um, of my review of The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. So if you have not read this book yet, I will leave a link to my non-spoiler review down below. Do not watch this part unless you want to be spoiled. Um, if you have read it, then stick around and we can discuss. So, yeah. So, the main part of um, this book that I really want to discuss. So, one thing that happened towards the end. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I did not know where the story was going to go from that point. Is when... Um, when... The killer, the ghost, I forget his name now, um, but the one that was mimicking Jack the Ripper. Um, so when he comes, when he is with Rory in the bathroom and he slashes her and pretty much, you know, I thought she was going to die at that point. I thought he was going to kill her. He sliced her up and down, I guess, and so that she would, I don't know, slowly bleed out. And I really thought she was going to die and become a ghost. Because um, that was sort of his intention was to, um, he says that, was, you know, it was to try to see if, um, gosh, I forget what it, see, it's been like a week or two since I finished this, um, so I'm forgetting some details, but she had this, like, weapon that, a weapon that was supposed to, like, kill him, um, but he was, like, doing this sort of he wanted to do this like experiment to see if um, if she would turn into a ghost like him, a powerful ghost like him, if she was holding on to that weapon when she died. Because I guess that's how he became a ghost. He had a similar weapon like that he, he was holding on to when he died. And so he became like a powerful ghost like that. And so he wanted to see if the same thing would happen with Rory. So at that moment when he slashed her, I really thought she was going to die. And she was going to become a ghost. And I'm... I have to say I'm... Happy, but not happy... That she didn't die. If that makes any sense. So I. I'm glad she didn't die. Like I like Rory. I'm glad she didn't die. But at the same time. A part of me wants to see. What it would have been like. If she had died. And become a ghost. Like where would this have taken the story. What would have happened. At this point what there's just I feel like there was a lot of potential there for her becoming a ghost um I feel like there was a lot of potential and a lot that um Maureen Johnson could have done with that story <clears throat> so I kind of wish she did turn into a ghost just so I can kind of see where that would have gone where that storyline would have gone. But at the same time, I am glad she survived and she's okay. So I do like her character. So it's 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 a split for me. Because I want her alive, but then I want to see her as a ghost and see what that would be like. Um, but that was like, that's pretty much the main spoiler that happens at the end that I've been really wanting to talk about um so 
what like what are your thoughts when that scene happened like did you have the same feeling like did you want her to die and become a ghost and see what would have happened there or do you want her to survive did you think she was gonna die because i thought she was um at that moment when he slashed her i was like oh my gosh i have no idea where this is going now is she gonna die is she gonna be a ghost like she has like a lot of times you think when you read a story um you think you know it's the main character they can't kill off the main character right unless you're veronica roth but anyway most of the time you're like you can't kill off the main character. It's the main character. But in this sense, though, you can because of the fact that it is a ghost story and there are ghosts throughout, um, throughout the story. There are, um, there are ghosts. There are um, tons of ghosts in the story. So... In this sense, it would be plausible um, to kill off your main character and still have the story continue, still have the series continue because you can use the main character as a ghost. Um, so that kind of, you know, throws things for a loop because then you're never really sure. It's like, is she going to live? Is she going to die? I who knows? Um, but that was really the main part of um, what I wanted to talk about. Spoiler wise, I wasn't really surprised that um, that uh, the the killer in the story was a ghost, obviously, because you know from the cover, it looks like a ghost on the cover. And I knew this was um, kind of a ghost story. So I wasn't surprised to find out the killer was a ghost. Um, I don't even think I was that surprised to find out why he was doing what he was doing. Obviously, it's still crazy. Um... But that really didn't take me too much by surprise. I think mainly the biggest surprise for me was um, Rory getting slashed and thinking she might die. I think that was the biggest surprise and I didn't know what to do with that. So I wanted to talk about it. Um, also the ending, the cliffhanger at the end. Um, not a huge one, but still leaves you with some questions. I'm kind of confused about it, too, because I'm not really sure But what's going on with that ending. It left me a little bit confused, so I definitely need to get the next one to see what's going on. And then, oh, and the other thing was, um... Boo's uh, best friend, the ghost from the war, the war soldier ghost, I don't remember her name, but her um, picking up the weapon and killing uh, the killer, that was another thing that I did not see coming at all, because it's like, it's like, oh man, Rory's down, Boo's in a wheelchair, the guys are miles away. Who the heck is going to, like, he's going to get away with this. And then Boo's uh, friend, the ghost, comes in and picks up the weapon and, you know, pretty much kills him and herself in the process. Because, um, you know, to use that weapon, since she's a ghost as well, to use that weapon on the killer, it would also affect her being a ghost as well. It would also kill her as well. So she sacrificed herself um, 
to to get rid of this guy, which I was like, yes, I I totally love her for that. She, well, I loved her anyway because she's a really cool character anyway. Um, even though she wasn't that big, uh, it, she wasn't a big part of the book. Um, I wish she was in it more because. The little bits of her that you do see in the book, I really do like. Um, but, yeah. I When she sacrificed herself, I was like... I was sad, but I was happy because I was like, Yes, he's gone. Thank you. And she is just totally awesome. But it was sad that she had to die in the process. Um... But yeah, that's basically it. Those are my thoughts. Um, just wanted to kind of see what are your thoughts um, if you had this and if you um, had any thoughts about the ending, about Rory almost dying but then not and, and then the whole ending that was kind of confusing that I still don't get. If you understand that ending and you kind of get what happened there, you want to explain it, feel free to explain it in the comments below because I, I still don't get that ending. Um, but yeah, I guess that's why I'll need to read the next book. So that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts. And yeah. Um, I will see you guys next time. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this book. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.